All right. Hey, good to see you. Good to see you too, man. Looking sharp. Uh, you too. And looking better than you were in this movie, because like I tell everybody that came out of this movie, you were under a lot of duress last time we see you in this movie. Um, last time we see me in this... Well, in pretty much in almost any scene we see you in this movie, you got a lot going on. Yeah, th this, was a, this is a rough movie for Mike Banning. He starts not in the best way, and I really like that idea, is what does it actually take out of you, you know? And he now he has concussions, the doctor's saying anything goes wrong. You know, you have so many issues right now. Right. And then he comes into the biggest challenge of his life, when suddenly the whole world turns against him, and he has everybody trying to catch him or kill him. And he's not in the best physical shape, but that's also what brings out the true hero in him. It's, you know, he's tenacious and and fierce and, and vengeful as well. And he's going to get to the bottom of, of who the hell's doing this to him. I, I think it, people, a lot of the attributes you gave him, people would say about you. Tenacious. Yeah, think, tenacious. <laughs> None of the other stuff, but the tenacious. Um, would you say that's that, why you're successful? I, I, I think so. I really feel a lot of myself in, in, in banning. In fact... Coming into this movie, I, I had so many issues going on, and motorcycle accident, and bad surgery. I was really beaten up. I had to push the movie a bit. When I arrived, I thought, just like Mike Banning shouldn't really be doing this joke, I should be making this <laughs> right. movie. And um, but that's what I do. I'm, I, I work best, I think, when my back's up against the wall. But just sometimes you go, Let me just make it easier for yourself. <laughs> yeah, right. What about being a spiritual warrior rather than a physical warrior? Right. <clears throat> I, I love that. You know, I think the reason the world loves Mike and loves his character, loves you in this role, are for those reasons. that We show how vulnerable he is. Because there are some action heroes, and I don't want to name names, but they kick ass, take names, but they want to make sure there's a nice key light on them, and they look good and shot heroically. Not this guy. You see him wince a little bit in pain. Yeah, and I love that because, you know, and, I, and, and I'm friends with a lot of those guys, but you hear the stories of they're not allowed to lose fights. You know, nobody, even when they're fighting each other, is like, I can't lose, I can't lose. And, and that's not the case here, you know. This is, I think, more grounded and more realistic, and I think an audience can claim more into the character and identify with them and go, right. yeah, maybe I don't have all his attributes, you know, and, and, and those skills, but I get where he's going and I get the struggle. I identify with that. I, I love what you said. That vulnerability, I think, really helps you kind of go on the journey with them. I gotta ask you a question. Twenty years I've been talking to you. I never asked you this, but but I, you know my hometown's in Northern California, and there's lore that at one time you were a carny passing through. Is that at all possible? Um, is Did, this Sacramento? Yes. Yes, I was a carny in Sacramento. What? I was. I was. I this was. is true. This is true. This is yeah. why I haven't asked you for twenty years because I thought, yeah, there's no way. That's this no, crazy, it's crazy truth. talk. It's the truth. I worked in the wacky wire, you know, and I had taken the wire down. And I'm like, you won the biggest teddy bear in the fair, and and I had a I had a blast. I loved Sacramento. I had a great time, and in Bakersfield as well. I did both those places. Well, if all this stuff doesn't work out for you, come back. Yeah, come we got <laughs> nice to see you, pal. Good to see you, man. Can we do a?